<laughs> you have to arrange yourself once you're in them. Yeah, you need you need the, the chap in the top compartment and his boy in the lower compartment. Right. Oh. Yeah, I see. Well, I've got them on. It, it goes oh, with the same right. arrangement as your own anatomy. Trousers yeah, they're, off. They're, they're a bit figure hugging, and I mean literally. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got them on. They're nice and tight around the legs and bum, but they literally like they're shaped around your genitals let's be let's be honest aren't they <laughs> i don't like them tone sorry i appreciate the gift <laughs> it just yeah. kind of feel like it just feels like your willy's hanging out <laughs> of a normal pair i don't think i can feel the front bit hang on let me walk about a bit i can get everything in the bottom bit yeah but you have to right? yourself. what's the top bit for a can of coke or something. <laughs> that's for your that's 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 for your dinkle. <laughs> I've got a big saggy bit as well. Well, I'm gonna wear them for the for the rest of this chat, but I I'm not sure. Maybe they take a bit of getting used to. But it just feels like you are wearing some kind of S and M sort of uh, article. Lift up the front flap, Matt, that's fun. The top flap, and there it is. Ba -ding! Yeah, no, it's it's like very much shaped about. It's like a proper body contour stuff, isn't it? Well, if you've got a body that has any contours, one's well, just two rounded lines. <laughs> um, I see that it's a new sensation, as <laughs> uh, as a in excess pointed out in the eighties, but um, I'm not sure. Do you tuck that bit round back under the bollock bit? I don't know. Don't know. Have you got a flappy bit, or does your gentleman feel the whole thing? No. So, so, and there's a, there's a, there's, there's a, a, a seam that needs to be nestled in yeah. behind the boys. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and then the chap goes in the <laughs> goes in the hole at the top. Yeah. Anyway. And we don't need to see. <laughs> we really, really don't need to see. <laughs> God, I think it's the sort of thing that if I was at, like at work or something, I'd wear them like for a day at work, you know, and um, see how I fared. You I'm know, we're busy and less self-conscious. But well, I I think to be fair to Separatech, who obviously clearly were aiming to have as our new sponsor, <laughs> <laughs> to give it, we need to give it a, a good a good day. I would yeah. suggest. They do feel a little bit sexy on the skin. Well, that's. Well, but do you always do? Do you want to feel sexy when you're uh, when you're digging a hole in the road with your ass in the air, surrounded by hairy ass blokes in high vis vests? To each their own. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I think. Thank you very much, Tony. It's a very, very nice gift. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to a socially distant street party tomorrow. I'll wear them there. I do feel very comfortable now I'm sitting down, but I do feel that if I didn't I hadn't put my jeans back on, I would be slipping off the chair right now and sort of sliding about a bit. It does feel like going back to the old early 90s boxer shorts days, you know, when you, I remember I was running for a bus once and my dinkle came out of my boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sensation where it's sort of hanging, it's in between your trouser and your boxer shorts. And you and you're in public. You just, you can't rearrange yourself. You can't rearrange yourself. So you have to kind of live with it. You know, it's what it feels like to me. That's a, am I alone here? Did, did, did anyone else used to have that happen? Not very often.